Trey? How you guys doing? All right, to get us started with Trey, we'll start with Seth Emerson and Anthony Dasher. Hey, Trey. Um, do you uh, remember watching either the previous Georgia-Alabama games, the national championship and the SEC championship a year later? Do you remember watching it, what you thought, if you ever had any idea you'd be playing for Georgia against Alabama someday? Well, yes, sir, for sure. I was sitting on my college watching both of them, actually. Um, and you never, no, never thought about, you know, Playing in the Georgia Alabama game, but you know, just glad to be here. Um, you know, those games were were extremely competitive and exciting to watch. So, you know, I, I can only um, imagine what's going to be like playing in it. Is Dash still with us? Um, next, we'll go to uh, Chip Towers and Jake Rowe. Hey, uh, Trey. Nice to finally meet you. Um, can you just uh, give us a little background on, uh, you know, you obviously transferred here over the summer. We were hearing great things about you. And then you had an injury that kind of slowed things up. Just kind of what happened there. And, and I, can you talk about the, uh, I can imagine the anticipation over the first few games, not being able to play and then finally getting in there this past week uh, must have been <laughs> pretty refreshing. Right. Yeah. I'm just in the middle of the camp, you know, um, just, you know, fell on my knee, took a, to get, you know, somewhat minor knee injury. So, you know, having a sideline for a few weeks, you know, it was, it was definitely hard to, you know, sit on the sidelines and, you know, watch my guys out there working, especially the first two games. Um, but, you know, just definitely super blessing, excited to be out there this last week and continue to, to play the rest of the season with my guys. Uh, Trey, why Georgia? Why was, why was Georgia your destination? And, and why did you choose to, to come play maybe your final – season of college football in Athens? Um, you know, I've always always liked Georgia growing up. Um, you know, took a fishing here coming out of high school and, uh, you know, just wasn't the time then. But, you know, everything happens for a reason, you know. Uh, you know, came into the portal um, beginning of this year and, you know, had some great conversations with um, with Coach Smart and Coach Hartley. Um, uh, new Coach Monk was coming in, you know, with the NFL-style offense and, you know, just something I wanted to be a part of. Next, we'll go to Dean Leggy, then Mike Griffith. Trey, as it relates to Stetson, um, a lot of times people talk about catchable balls. Can you describe what it's like uh, on being on the receiving end of a ball from Stetson? Um, I think Stetson's a great quarterback. You know, he puts it right on the money. So, you know, I feel like all, all of his, everything he throws is, you know, catchable ball. He puts it in the right spot. Um, you know, makes it easy for us uh, on the receiving end. Uh, yeah, Trey, Mike Griffith here. Um, just wanted to ask you, did, did you pay attention or watch or talk to Lawrence Cager last year and see the success that, that Cager had? And, and what is the key to coming in, do you think, and being a successful graduate transfer in a program like Georgia? Um, uh, actually, I did uh, talk, to, uh, talk to Lawrence. Um, you know, um, really just, you know, trying to come in and, you know, realize that you haven't done anything here. So, uh, you know, just really just trying to earn your stripes again, you know, come in working hard. Um, then, uh, you know, me being an older guy, it's just have the experience to try to be, uh, bring the uh, you know, leadership I can, um, but just go out there fighting every day. Mark Weiser, then Augusta Stone. Hey, Trey, uh, is kind of your role on set in this past Saturday's game, was that kind of what you envisioned uh, when you transferred here that, that, you know, being that prominent in the offense and then, uh, heading into Bama, knowing uh, how their defense, uh, you know, had a tough time with Ole Miss. What, what do you see as uh, kind of, um, you know, carrying that forward? Um, really, um, you know, I didn't really uh, think too much of the expectations. I just, you know, I just want to go out there and play, play my best game. Um, and as far as this week, you know, you're not really, you know, looking forward to, you know, what what happened this past week with them. You know, just trying to, you know, focus on ourselves and know this is a big week. Uh, just trying to clean what we can on offense, uh, you know, try to improve ourselves to, you know, bring our best foot forward for this week. Hey, Trey, good to meet you. Um, so you kind of talked about it, but, you know, this is this is a big week. This is a big game. Um, how do you personally keep it cool and, you know, just focus on the preparation and not let the, the lights of everything and the excitement around it, you know, overwhelm you? What do you do personally? Right, you know, it's tough, you know, night game, two versus three. Uh, but you really just, you know, have to do your best to, to blur it out, uh, you know, just try to take it as any other week. Um, 
you know, like like Stokes said, you know, we play in the SEC, so we have a big game every week. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, try to focus on ourselves and blow out the outside noise, uh, get back to work um, to get ready for another week of football and uh, play our best. You know, we try to bring our best every game. So it's not, you know, we're trying to up ourselves for this game. You know, we're just trying to stay, stay playing Georgia football. Next, we'll go to Connor Riley, then Blaine Gilmer. Yeah. Hey, Trey, I'm wondering if any of your Georgia teammates have told you about what playing Alabama is like or the intensity that sort of comes with this game, especially given how Georgia in the last two times they've played them has had some tough luck losses there at the end. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I had some talks to some guys. Uh, my freshman year at Florida State, you know, we, we, we played Alabama. So, um, you know, just, you know, I know that the hype coming into to playing a game like this, uh, you know, just, you know, definitely be uh, definitely excited to, you know, be on the side of ball with Georgia, you know, playing them. Excited for the opportunity. Hey, Trey, um, with limited reps, what would seem like, you know, you coming in the summer, uh, not getting to work with Stetson a lot in the offseason, it seemed like there was a lot of chemistry there. He was throwing the ball, you know, before you'd even cleared a defender on Saturday. Just kind of talk about how that's developed between you guys. You know, right, you know, came in late. Um, but, you know, um, you know, me and Stetson and all the quarterbacks really, you know, you're all, you know, trying to get as much work as we can in over the summer to, you know, make it for lost time. Um, so, you know, really just continue to, to have that, that chemistry grow. You know, he made some great throws on, on Saturday. We're looking to continue to that chemistry uh, get better every day and practice with each other. Next, we'll go to Palmer Toms, and then we'll open it up for the final question for Trey. Hey, Trey, were you close friends with any of the Georgia guys before you came? And I guess if not, who have you done, become better friends with uh, since you got here? Um, well, I went to high school with uh, Robert Beal. So, you know, me and him were, were cool before I got here. Um, and really just I've gained a relationship with everybody on the team, you know, especially the tight end room. But, you know, I feel like the guys really took me in since I've been here. Uh, so it's been cool getting along with everybody. Final Trey, question. Is the, Trey, is this the biggest game you've played in? Um, yeah, yes, sir. I, I would say so. Uh, you know, definitely excited for the opportunity. Is there, um, is there any game in high school that may be comparable? Uh, in high school, um, yeah, played played uh, uh, quite a few big high school games of IMG. Um, you know, I'm actually excited as well to, you know, get to play against uh, Dylan again. Um, so, uh, um, no, it doesn't really compare to high school, but, uh, you know, just, just excited for the opportunity. Trey, thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you all.